today's mission story is titled Ukrainian Builds 22 Churches. Construction company chief Vladimir Vladovsky knew it would take a miracle to build a 7th Adventist <coughs> church in the northern Russian seaport of Arkhangelsk. He had no blueprint. He had no blueprint for the project. He up, he had only a few summer months to build the church. A senior city administrator, without giving a reason, had vowed never to sign the paperwork. So Vladimir secured a blueprint for the church's foundation and started work. Summer is very short in Ank in Arkhangelsk, and we didn't have time to deal with the bureaucracy bureaucracy, said Vladimir, a Ukrainian native who has built 22 Adventist churches and other church facilities in Russia, Ukraine and Mongolia over the two decades. So we started building. After laying the foundation, Vladimir received the blueprint for the second stage and put, and put his construction crew to work on the walls. Then, then came the next blueprint and the roof. Remarkably, no one from the city government tried to stop the construction. Vladimir, however, had not forgotten about the official paperwork. Vladimir gathered his crew every morning to pray for a miracle at the construction site. A month passed, two months, three months. Arkhangel's summer lasts for only three months, from June to August. The exterior of the church was completed before the first snow fell in September. The interior was finished in December. Vladimir returned to the city administrator to ask for the documents. He didn't know what to expect, but he felt at, he felt at peace, knowing that he had prayed daily and that the weather had stayed warm enough, that the weather had stayed warm long enough to finish the church. The city administrator didn't say didn't say a word. He simply signed every document. In the end, he signed everything, Vladimir said. I don't know why, it was a miracle. Vladimir, a third generation Adventist who restored all buildings for a state construction company during Soviet times, had encountered many constructing, has encountered many constructing the Euro-Asia Division's headquarter in Moscow in 1995. Currently, he's, he's building churches in Krasno, Krasnoyarsk, Tomsk, a third Russian city, and a third Russian city, but no miracle had been quite remarkable as this one uh, in Arkhangelsk um, in 1999. He said in an interview in Ukraine's capital, Kiev, we built a church without a blueprint and without permission, he said. Um, so that's the end of the mission story, and what I learned from this story is that God gave Vladimir uh, a talent of building, and he was able to use his talent to build 22 churches. So what this teaches us um, is that God has given us um, all different talents and we should use these talents to serve and praise God and to bring other people closer yeah. to God. Amen. Um, that's why I'm a from which it's Amen. And, and also adopted faith because he didn't, have, he, didn't have the, he didn't have the official paperwork to start building, mm -hmm. but he built with faith and as a girl, he keep praying and praying and praying. Yeah. And the same administrator that what we're going to give him the paper to start with, they didn't even send a word, he signed all the documents. Mm -hmm. God is good. Amen. 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 That also shows that there's a lot of power in prayer. In prayer. Amen. Amen. That if we want anything, we should always pray to yes. God and he'll provide for us. Amen. Beautiful yes. story. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.